We did have a, a new head of revenue join our organization about four or five months ago. I, I can't do the math, um, but I think that to, to, to the question, you know, a key part was, was getting on his agenda, right? If, as he was thinking about, you know, his discovery sessions, working with the teams to really collect information about how our organization was run, what was important as he was building out his key pillars, I wanted to make sure I was at least 30 minutes on his calendar to introduce myself and talk to him about what our executive briefing program does. You know, one of the nice things is you'd come from an organization that had an executive briefing program, an executive briefing center. So the, the education uh, was, I didn't have to educate as much, but I did have to educate on what does executive briefing mean to Cloudflare, right? We, you know, we're, we're new, we're, we're still growing. You know, it's what we have is unique to what other organizations have based on our maturity and, and who we are as a company. And so it was really about highlighting what we've done internally as, as key successes, how I think about growing that forward, but, but also how he really envisioned what the future of his organization looked like and how I would fit into that. So letting that be both an education on who you are, what you do, um, but then getting, giving, uh, allowing for feedback as well, right? Of what had worked well for him in the past. And I think this is any leader, right? What had worked well for them in the past in terms of involvement, executive briefings, um, how they thought about the time, what was priorities to them in terms of their day-to-day -day or their team's day-to-day -day, as you think about their teams as discussion leaders. And so just making sure that you're you're building that rapport from, from day one or as close to day one as possible is really important.